Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Friday Eve to you. I want to introduce you to Patty Mastraco, of course. You know this woman. She's already, always on our show with great ideas. You're representing Crystal Creamery this morning. I am. With a great suggestion for a post workout snack. Well, it is marathon season, right? It We've is. got the turkey trot, the run to feed the hungry, all these great marathons coming up. So, what happens when you're running a huge marathon like that, or even if you're just, you know, trying to get in shape and running a few miles or cycling, you're wearing your body down, okay? You're, you're um, really doing a number on your muscles. So what you do when, you, when you're done is follow up with a sports recovery drink. This is what we typically think of as a sports recovery drink. Sure. So this is going to replace your electrolytes, and that's about it. So something like chocolate milk, especially crystal chocolate milk, has everything you need in it, and it turns out it is the perfect recovery drink because it's not just about electrolytes. It's about protein and carbs and water. Okay, so why chocolate milk over, say, like a protein shake that you would blend together? Well, this is just all natural, too. Yeah. And the nice thing about this is it's full of whey protein, which is really easily absorbed by your body, so it's going to start rehabbing your muscles even faster. So, so it's, it's just more accessible to yeah, your body. Yeah, it's just, it actually is the perfect sports recovery drink. So if you want to have the chocolate milk, easy, easy. Go for but it. But you can also, you've got some great simple recipes yeah, that so I thought, people can know, spice it up. Right, what if you don't want to just do chocolate milk? So I did an extra, extra protein shake. So I took our chocolate milk, mm -hmm. and then I have some crystal cottage cheese. Extra, extra protein. Extra, extra, and then I added some flavors. So this is kind of like a, you know, frozen chocolate banana smoothie. Yeah. I just blended it up in my little blender, and you're good to go. Magic of TV, it's ready to go I right know, here. exactly. See, I wouldn't have thought of putting cottage cheese in a smoothie. Well, there's a ton of protein in that, so you're just getting even more protein. And it kind of gives it that creamy texture, it's, that it extra creamy. It up, yeah, yeah, delicious. So okay, moving on down the line here. One of my other tips here. is I like to freeze the chocolate milk mm -hmm. or chocolate milk with some of the instant espresso powder. Oh, that's such a great idea. ice cube trays and then blend it up and you've got like a, a frozen mocha. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, okay. nice and slushy. I will and... be stealing one of those after yeah. our segment. <laughs> like that plan. Okay, and this I just, I turned it into chia pudding. You know, chia okay. seeds are really good for you. There's, there's full of omega-3s and they're just really good for you. So it's just chia uh -huh. and honey and chocolate milk and you're, and you put it in a bowl, stir it up every two hours or so, and you're good to go. And chia really has that kind of um, gelatin or gelatinous it texture. Does. Yep. So it's like you're having pudding, but it's a really healthy version. It's really healthy. And if you don't like that crunchy taste that the chia seeds sometimes have, I, I pureed them or I processed them in my food processor until oh, yeah. they were kind of fine, and then I added the liquid and the honey. Oh, very smart. Okay, yeah. I like yeah. that. And then this is the, our double-double chocolate pudding. I took instant pudding mix, and I added our crystal chocolate milk. Delicious. And it was it's absolutely perfect. So um, these are just popsicles so freeze your chocolate milk in popsicle makers if you don't have a popsicle maker you can just put it in a cup put your uh, foil on top oh, look at how easy this is stick in yeah so easy easy and you know one thing i love about crystal is they've been in sacramento for over a hundred years we love so local we love local they're a sacramento icon really good quality they work with family farmers and it's just all really good stuff. And then after you have all of your delicious protein rich smoothies and chocolate milkshakes and whatnot, you can also, you know, have a little dessert. Too. Or you can make a milkshake <laughs> out of it, right? There or you a go. float. Exactly. So, so. Patty Mastraco, she always has the great ideas. Thanks for visiting us this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. All right, Ken, back to you. Thanks, Patty. Thanks, Bethany.